with BioResponse Solutions based out of Indiana. We're a company that manufactures alkaline hydrolysis equipment for both human disposition and for pets, the pet industry. So the process is a no emissions process. It's often viewed as an alternative to cremation. And so um, this is an animal system for pet dispositions. It can perform communal uh, processes or it can be divided into compartments so that each individual pet has its own individual compartment. That way at the end of the process each pet will be placed in its own compartment. At the end of the process the bone remains for each individual pet will be contained in this compartment. So the pet owners are have their unique pets remains returned to them. So the operator of the system has the choice of using the dividers, customizing the size of the compartments uh, to accommodate their clients' needs. Now what happens with alkaline hydrolysis? What's the process? In alkaline hydrolysis, the tissue is broken down to the natural form. So it's actually similar to natural decomposition. If you were to bury a body in the ground, uh, the body would be broken down and uh, based on the pH of the soil, it would also be alkaline hydrolysis. That could take six months uh, for an un unembalmed body, uh, possibly longer. And so this is an ideal system to accelerate the process. We use water, heat, and alkali, which is a basic, uh, basic chemical. So it's the chemical opposite of an acid, which is a common misconception. And we use water circulation to circulate the solution and the body is dissolved into the water, um, which, of course, the body is already 70% water. And how long does that process take? Uh, the, pro the length of the process depends on the system, but mostly on the temperature of the process. So the higher the temperature, the quicker it's going to happen. Um, for example, in a low temperature system for human disposition, uh, that's under boiling, so it's at atmospheric pressure. That's going to be a 12-hour process from start to finish. Uh, for a higher temperature process at 300 degrees, that's going to be um, about a six-hour process, and that's the time from uh, processing uh, one body to the next. So it includes the heat up in the process and everything. Okay. Now on your. Um, uh, Display here, uh, this is a human system picture. Correct? Yes, this one is here. Okay. So, what, um, and this uh, container tips? Yes. As part of the process to conserve the water and. That's correct. Uh, the body's loaded horizontally into the system and the vessel's closed. Mm -hmm. Then the system is tilted to an angled operating position and that helps us achieve a better process um, with alkaline hydrolysis. So it's going to use less water. Um, of course, the low temperature system is the lowest energy consumption for this process, um, but all alkaline hydrolysis systems do do use less energy than a traditional cremation and uh, have about a tenth of the carbon footprint of a cremation and also burial. There's a lot of um, materials that go into the burial process, so there's a larger carbon footprint. Yeah. And what you have left after the process, you, you still do have some kind of remains to Absolutely. return. Do you want to show us Sure. That? At the end of the process, uh, you're going to have bone remains, just like with cremation. So this is a typical bone remains. Of course, you're going to have a higher volume. This would be with animals or humans, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, the bones are going to be wet after the process, mm -hmm. so they have to dry. Once they're dried, they can be processed just like uh, the remains from a cremation. So you have an ash to return to the family. And it's actually, it's going to be the same amount, if not a little bit more, than what you would normally get back with a traditional cremation. So it's going to be similar to what they're accustomed to if they've gone through the process. And, and it looks finer than um, yes. cremated remains. It's more of a yeah. powder. It's a little 
more of a powder. And the actual liquid, um, what's the composition of the liquid that remains after the alkaline hydrolysis process? It's just uh, the byproducts of decomposition, so sugars, amino acids, a little bit of soap is produced, nutrients, and uh, so everything's sterile, all pathogens that are, are destroyed in the process, so it's essentially nutrients, a very natural byproduct. Is it a color? Yes, it looks it looks a lot like coffee. That's what same, I've heard. <laughs> same consistency uh -huh. um, and the same coloration. Very interesting. Anything else you would like to add? Um, I think that's it. It's been fun to uh, to see funeral directors and pet crematory operators excited about offering something new to their clients. And the reception from their families and their clients has been really really better than we ever expected. Oh, how many units are out there and how's it looking in terms of actually this increasing? Um, well, of course, we're gonna we're a little biased. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna be optimistic about it. Um, we think that the, the economics of the process makes sense um, and we think there's a, a consumer demand that we've been able to see. So we currently have two systems for human disposition. Uh, we have numerous systems for uh, pet crematories and veterinary clinics. So, um, so I think that it has potential to, to become an option that funeral directors will want to offer. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you.